ham. Look at the little ham. Are you biting me? Are you biting my fingers? Good morning, Jaw. How are you, my friend? I've got my shower. The bed is made. The day is ours, Joster. All right, Lionhearts. I think I figured out what I want to do for our vlog today. Let's go. Well, good morning, Lionhearts. How are you today? It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion. How are you feeling on this post-Christmas parade morning? What a bummer. It's, you know what I realized last night? It was a fun event and everything, but that's definitely something that's made for TV. They definitely uh, don't worry about all the gaps and everything in between the parade floats and the bands and everything. So for the people viewing it out there, it gets a little boring because there's five to 10 minute gaps in between things, but on TV it looks nice. So I don't know if we're gonna do that next year. We'll see. All right, we're taking this guy out and he's got a little bit of a surprise. I'm taking him to a special place for a walk today. We're going to Carroll Street, Jaw. Carroll Street. And it's not too bad of a day. It's pretty overcast, I love it. I love it. Now normally I don't take him when I'm doing the field trip part of the vlog anymore because he's a little bit hard to handle sometimes. He doesn't like to stand still, but today we're not really gonna be standing still too much. Different kind of vlog today. There's the Rampart Police Station. Now we've slowly crept our way into this area and it's actually Angelino Heights. And what I love about Angelino Heights is that it was originally a Victorian era kind of mansion community neighborhood. And um, as you can tell here, these are the kind of things that we're gonna see, but we're actually gonna concentrate on uh, Carroll Avenue, which is about a block away from here. Very fitting for the neighborhood, I would say. Now check this place out. If you notice the very, very top, right at the uh, the very point of it, those shingles actually go in a ripple effect. Great house, I love it. Well, here we are, the start of Angelino Heights Carroll Avenue. Now, there's actually a conservancy now that actually looks out for the well-being of these old 1880s mansions. And it's a good thing that conservancy exists. Look at these kind of houses over here. You just don't find houses like these pretty much anywhere else in Los Angeles. Now, like I said, a bulk of the ones I'm gonna show you today were all built in the 1880s. This whole street was Victorian mansions, and then as I understand it, as time went on in the 50s, and even kind of before then with the Great Depression going on, people didn't have the money to upkeep these mansions, and so eventually they kind of all started falling into disrepair. But then apparently like in the 1970s, there was actually like this resurgence where people started moving into this neighborhood that actually really cared about these old houses and they actually started refurbishing them and that's where the conservancy came into play. Now what happened was that the conservancy was afraid that at some point this all could have a cycle once again where people would move in that didn't keep it up. So they actually own three of the homes on this street and they're all considered, well the actual, the entire block is considered a historical landmark um, in Los Angeles. But they actually, the conservancy owns three of the houses on this street and they're responsible for the upkeep. And one of them, actually two of them are pretty famous houses. Look at the detail and all of that. And they actually have a historical register plaque up on their front door. Beautiful house. So is the one next to it. God, I love the architecture of those houses. Look at that. Oh, wow. Don't you love all the ornate architecture here in the, look just even in the doorway. Look at all that. All that ornate carving and woodwork. God, it's incredible. And it just keeps getting better and better as you go around the side of the house. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, look at this row. 
I'm gonna hit both sides of the street, don't worry guys. Now the woodwork on here just falls into that category for me of how does one's mind think up this? How do you design this? God, I love that. Everything about it. You can even see right on the, um, right, where is it at? Right here on both sides, there's little animal faces in there and wow, that's beautiful. It's a good thing that Conservancy exists to keep this neighborhood like this. Is that old school enough for you? Now this is great, look how they already have all the Christmas stuff out, it looks really good. And check out the um, stained glass window there, that is incredible. Beautiful, look at all that. Sorry about the sun glare guys. Do you see, what are those like? Swans or whatever right on the uh, right on the very top right there Man that is beautiful Look at that old timey uh, mailbox. And then look at this. They've got a little, uh, nothing of really any interest, but they're just kind of mentioning the historical uh, restoration process of some of the stuff around here. Now we're almost to the end of the street. Actually, we are to the end of Carroll, but we are gonna turn around and we're gonna go up the other side because there's a few famous houses on the other side that you should see. Look at this place. Because the sun, it was a little hard to uh, get you too much detail on the other side. I was getting too many sun splashes, but look at that. Oh yeah, look at that house. And then right there is another one of the uh, historical monument markers. I don't know what that is. That's actually got their address, but wow. Okay, let's cross the street and work our way up the other side now. Oh, there's even a plot of land for sale. I wonder if there's a requirement if you buy the plot of land over here that you have to um, build a Victorian style home, like house or home or whatever that would fit in with the neighborhood. You never know. This husky walking up here doesn't seem to be too fond of jaw. I don't know where he came from though. There was a little driveway and I saw an interesting looking house back here so I figured I should come take a look. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Wow, I just love this neighborhood. I love it. Now this one looks like they're doing some sort of restoration because it's in shambles. You can tell the inside is uninhabited and the entire outside is just a mess. I wonder what the Conservancy is doing about this one. Now this is the one that everybody's gonna know. This is called the Innes House. This was originally built for the Innes family. Daniel Innes was a like local city councilman and his family lived there for like 40 years. And then uh, in the 20s, a barber bought the house and he lived in it till the 70s and then it pretty much kind of didn't really have anyone living in it um, for quite a while. And this is another one of those houses that the Conservancy has taken over. Now you guys probably know it as the Hallowell Manor because it's actually the house that they use for um, the TV show Charmed. The Shannon Doherty, um, Fruza Bulk TV show Charmed. I've never actually watched the show, but I know enough of the story that it is San set in San Francisco and that the house supposedly I think is built on a pentagram in the, in the show. 
But, um, and, I, and I believe the inside layout of this manor, this historical manor, is not exactly the same as the way they do it on the show, but this is definitely the house and um, everything that they've used. And it's a pretty big tourist attraction, actually. And it's a really great looking house, too. If you can see, um, I didn't bring my other lens, but the, the weather vane is like a fish. And then there's like a, um, there's an eagle up here on this other one that's off to the side, right there. It's just an amazing looking house. And not the horse for tying up. That's for your duck tie up, I guess, <laughs> or your swan. Now, I don't know if they actually do tours of that house or if I can ever get in there or if now it's privately owned or what the actual situation is, but uh, then we have this beautiful manor. And then the one right next to it, I think everyone's gonna know. I vlogged it about a year ago, but it's on this street and it's definitely worth mentioning and it's definitely the reason that I decided to end on this side of the street. And it, uh, it looks like they're restoring it because I see some, if you notice up the side, there's some of those worker platforms. That is definitely the house. And that fig tree is still in the front. Now check this out. If you want a little souvenir, they have free iris bulbs here in a box that you can help yourself to. I almost should get those for somebody so when they plant them they can say that those came from the Thriller house. So it makes you think somebody must live there now. I don't know. Or they're going to. It's that same tree. That's that same tree. I love matching up things like this. I just love it even though we've been here before. I thought today would be fun to, like I said, to do like a stroll and show you all of Carroll Avenue because when I did the Thriller video, I had a handful of people complaining saying, dude, you walked right past the Charmed House and you didn't even say it. And I'm like, I'll do that another time. Especially because, you know, a year ago I had a fraction of the viewers, so now a lot of people don't know I've already done some of these things and they'll get to see them again and now that I'm mentioning it, they can go back and watch the Thriller video. Well that is pretty much the end of Carroll Avenue. We have worked our way up both blocks and the whole neighborhood of Angelino Heights around here has a lot of those kind of houses but I just wanted to show you Carroll Avenue today. Ja just found a buddy to play with and I noticed while they were playing, they actually ran up onto this front step and there's a uh, an imprint of a shamrock right there and then it looks like a handprint there's that fountain I don't know if you guys could see it when I was in front of this house earlier I didn't really feature it too much I just noticed on this one if you look at the very top I didn't notice it before but those kind of look like they're meant to be cactus up there don't you think I was leaving and I took a right turn and another right turn and went down a street and I found this punk rock fans, you guys are gonna probably be like beside yourself right now. I couldn't believe I saw this, that somebody had this as their, uh, as their like garage door cover. That is so cool. So cool. Well, the jersey is sold. So now I gotta unpin it off this back that it's on. I don't know how, I don't think I'll be able to get the robe in there. I may have to put something else in here. But I gotta pack this up and ship this out today. Have a good new home, Zeke. And just in case I ever miss it, I always have another one to start all over again. Yep, when I bought it, I bought two. Well, I think Ja had a blast. I, I don't know what dogs, if they appreciate art or architecture, but he seemed to have fun out there, so I don't know. I just uh, came home and dropped him off, and then I gotta go out and uh, hit the store um, in a little bit and pick up a few supplies. All right. So what I'm actually doing now is I have to hit one of the uh, stores to get mailers because I sold, like I mentioned, actually sold a couple of things and I was waiting on an address. So now I have to hope they have those mailers, which is a 
and then try and walk from there over to the post office and I have an hour to do it all. I might be able to get it done. Let's do it, Lionhearts. No thank you, don't want the couch. Red explosion. Neat. Oh, look at that statue. Cool. Was there a wrestling match out here? All right, well our update is, I walked into the dollar store, it was packed, they had one line open, but I got them. I got five of the mailers. So we have 20 minutes to make it to the post office. I think we can do it now. All right, well, I made it. Let's, it looks like they've closed. Nope, looks like they are still open. I was gonna say, it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't honor the times online. All right, let's do it. All right, we did it. Both of them are done, shipped up, and I just gotta throw them in there and call it a day. Well, good evening, my friends. I hope you guys enjoyed our little walk down Carroll Avenue today. I love that street, and I think probably most of you will too. I want to thank Jane Tony for her donation today. That was so nice of you, especially with the uh, the upcoming travels. Just allows me to do more and push the boundaries of where I can go, what I can do, and just things I can show you. And I appreciate all the people that trust in me, no matter where I'm going to go or what I'm going to do every day. That um, a big part of you will watch just about anything I put up because you have enough faith in what I'm going to do. So thank you so much. Have a great night and tomorrow is a personal favorite vlog of mine. This one is going to be hot. That's all I'm going to say. Have a great night. See you all tomorrow. Good.